Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Bendy and the Dark Revival character concept series. So in today's video, the character we'll be looking into is Mr. Croaks. So we'll go into this character's gameplay mechanics, backstory, location, and all that good stuff as well. Now as always, I will just state that this isn't definitive of what's actually going to happen in Bendy and the Dark Revival, nor are we stating that this character will officially be a part of the new game. This is just a fun what if scenario and a cool creepy story we get to tell and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube because it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Alrighty everyone, well let's get into the character concept of Mr. Croaks. So previously in our Bendy in the Dark Revival character concept series, we've looked at a number of different characters from the new trailer that was released. Although that trailer shows a lot of interesting characters and enemies, there's still so much we don't know and haven't seen as of yet. So in this video, we're going to be looking at a character that we've created and would be interesting to see in the Dark Revival. Throughout the first game, we've been introduced to the cartoon characters at Joey Drew Studios. The most popular characters being Bendy, Buddy Boris, and Alice Angel. But what if there was another lovable cartoon character that was a part of the Bendy show? So this character would be known as Mr. Croaks or AKA Croaks the Frog. Mr. Croaks would have been Joey Drew's less popular characters. He would only appear in a couple of episodes throughout the whole series. So the character of Mr. Croaks would have been known as a traveling salesman. He wore overalls, large comical shoes, and a fancy skimmer hat. He was most well known by his funny long frog tongue. His long tongue was mainly used for grabbing money out of customers' hands whenever they would make a purchase. He would also always be accompanied by his little insect friend, Flyzy. Flyzy lived inside Mr. Croak's hat, and was his best friend. He lived inside Croak's hat and would appear whenever Mr. Croak tipped his hat to the customers. In the episode titled Croak Bespoke, it had the main character Bendy trying to purchase a pair of shiny new shoes from Mr. Croak's. The main premise of the episode was that silly Mr. Croak's kept selling Bendy the wrong size of shoes. And of course, at Mr. Croak's traveling store, there was no refunds. So throughout the episode, Bendy would do odd jobs here and there to get enough money for another pair. In the end of the episode, he had enough different sizes of shoes for all his cartoon pals. So even though Mr. Croak's only had a small role in the TV show, he was still a beloved character amongst all the fans. When it came to the Bendy brand of toys and plushies, there was a limited run of Mr. Croak toys that was sold for a year or two. And when it came to Bendyland, Mr. Croaks was in the works to be a part of the cast and crew himself. Copies of the living cartoon character would have been stationed at all the gift shops around the park. But when it came to the living animations, some characters don't always come out as friendly as their on-screen counterparts. So as our main character Audrey would explore around the Joey Drew studio looking for a way out, she would unfortunately encounter the dark twisted version of Mr. Croaks himself. Whilst exploring when Audrey is coming up to this twisted character segment of the game, the player would get multiple jump scares from a creepy slimy tongue breaking through the walls and trying to attack them. This tongue-like creature would be dripping in the dark ink and at the end of the tongue would be a mouth filled with razor sharp teeth. Audrey would have to fend off this creature with the gent pipe. After striking it a few times, it would slink back through the wall. Whilst walking down the hallway, this would happen a number of times. The frightening tongue would burst through the wall and Audrey would have to protect herself. The last time this happens, a cutscene would play. The tongue would burst out of the wall and snatch the gent pipe right out of Audrey's hands. The tongue would disappear once more, taking the gent pipe with it through the wall. Audrey is now left defenseless. She needs to find the gent pipe and get out of this area as quickly as she can. Whilst looking for the gent pipe, Audrey hears a loud crash. She quickly hides and peeks out to see what's happening. One of the ceiling vents has dropped down on the floor and out of the ceiling crawls a twisted looking Mr. Croaks. That was it. That was the slimy tongue creature that was attacking her. Audrey takes a closer look and notices all of his details. This version of Mr. Croaks is much more frightening than his adorable cartoon counterpart. 
His eyes and mouth have changed. Inside that mouth of his were many jagged looking teeth. His fingers were much longer and unnervingly slender. Even his little friend Flyzy has changed. They now have sharp little teeth of their own and didn't look very friendly. Where on earth did Mr. Croaks put that gent pipe? Audrey has to find it quickly. But without the gent pipe, her only option is to sneak past this disturbing looking creature. Across the room on the other side is a vent. That would be the perfect escape. Audrey just has to safely make her way over there and then she would be home free. So in this gameplay segment, the player has to be extra stealthy and make their way past the twisted Mr. Croaks. There would be multiple obstacles that the player would need to sneak through and multiple objects for them to hide behind. As they peek out from behind, they can see Mr. Croaks lurking around the area. Flyzy would be flying around and investigating the area as well. They would act as a drone-like mechanic that would fly back and alert Mr. Croaks if they see you. The player would need to be careful, because if Mr. Croaks finds Audrey in her unarmed state, it would be an instant death. So finally Audrey reaches the air vent. She quickly hops in and makes her way through to the next area. But she doesn't get far without Mr. Croaks noticing. The slimy devilish tongue slinks through the air vent and starts chasing Audrey. The player would need to travel through the air vents as quickly as they can. If they even take a corner too slowly, then the tongue will wrap around Audrey's ankle and drag her back to Mr. Croaks to be devoured. After making their way around all the bends and corners as quickly as they can, the player exits the air vent and a cutscene would play. Audrey would notice on this side of the vent would be a sliding hatch. She would activate the hatch as it slides down at the same time as the tongue exits. The hatch slices through the tongue, severing the creepy sharp toothed tip. It frantically moves on the ground as the rest of it retracts back to its owner. Finally, Audrey is now safe from Mr. Croaks. But she still needs to find her gent pipe. She won't last very long without it. And knowing this twisted cartoonish nightmare of a studio, you never know what horrible creatures will appear next. So I think Mr. Croaks would be a pretty cool character to see in the upcoming game. I think their design is quite creepy and their gameplay segment would be pretty tense as well. But as to if we'll ever see a character like Mr. Croaks in the actual game, we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. And as always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Mr. Croaks, and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well to our next character concept series video, I'll catch you later, bye.